So the room's a lot tidier and I've acquired some new equipment. Behold, got a new mark mixer and not a Technics deck, a sound lab deck, but the mixer was the bit I was missing. That's very cool. So got a fairly rubbishy turntable that I paid way more than I paid for that one. Um, that one will be replaced by a, a matching one for that at some point. But yeah, check it out. So yeah, so we've now got like a DJ bay. And if we reach out under here, this is a DVD player being pressed into service because I have no use for it at the moment. Which will act as a CD player. That was my test CD. I didn't even know if that worked. And the CD player and a netbook is very cool. So that netbook will play um, digital files straight into the mixer using these two switches. You see here. You've got the phono and line sockets. So phono goes to the record players and the line sockets are uh, see, all works. and the line sockets are for the exterior devices. So essentially you've got four channels that you can switch between. So I do like vinyl. I think it's a, a great medium. I think it's a great medium for bands to produce because it's you know very tactile and ownable. So I wanted a you know a means of playing vinyl and stuff from bands, get the permissions and stuff like that. And uh, maybe those ones with actual you know music recordings will go, end up on Mixcloud or something like that. And here we got the microphone bay and the recording bay with the customary cup of coffee. And yeah. So that was what I spent the day doing. Okay, so much tidier. It's very dark in here. That will also be changing. And uh, yeah, now we've got to do is create stuff. And oh, I brightened up the walls a little bit with things like the, uh, the, the very worth reading Black Panther Manifesto and the Hacker Manifesto. And that's a chap you'll be hearing more of, Dr. John Cooper Clark, as well as some other images and stuff that I wanted to have on the walls, which were made for nothing. You know, that's a visit to the internet and a laser printer, and I've got a very ugly laser printer down there, but it's battered and it still works, and I wanted something on the walls for the studio. So yeah, that's what I've been doing.